Now, Hattie, I don't know about you. One of the things over the last several months that it's a weird thing I've missed is food trucks. Yeah, that's not weird at all. I can tell you right now, food trucks are literally one of my favorite things. So when, when I saw that Alex was doing this, this piece, I was so excited because food trucks and art, two of my favorite things coming together. Absolutely. And they are coming together in Mayport. And lucky for us, Alex got all the details. One of the main things that I miss about life pre-COVID-19 are all the social interactions that I would have every day, whether that's at work or meeting up with friends to go to our favorite restaurants. Well, thankfully, the Klotz Group has come up with something really cool that I think you're going to like. It's called the Socially Distant Food Truck Roundup, and it's meant to bring back that sense of community and help the food trucks out as well. We want to help create this at the center of arts and culture on Mayport Road in Northeast Florida. So unfortunately now with the pandemic, um, building permits aren't being issued, so we can't really do construction. And right. so many small businesses are out of work, like food truck vendors and art vendors. So we figured, well, we've got this huge lot of space. Let's bring some food trucks out. So it started on May 2nd, and then it's grown each and every week. We now have eight trucks all together, a variety of different cuisines each week and it rotates so we can get all the different small businesses out and about in Jacksonville and then slowly we've added art vendors and we've got a chef that's doing hot sauce and he'll do cooking demonstrations wow. all the way. We've got an author, a local author that comes out. So it's, it's so much more than just food. It's really an experience and something that the community can enjoy in a safe way. So what has been some things that you're hearing from the food trucks? I mean, I know this has to be a really hard time for them. Oh gosh, they're so grateful. Uh, we've got a wait list each and every week because they're so happy to be out there. Uh, we've got a schedule even built out through September right wow. now because it's such a great spot for the food trucks to be in. We've heard from a few of them that it's more business they've done since March. Uh, that they wouldn't be doing business otherwise, especially with so many offices downtown yeah. being closed or with work from home orders. So the food trucks that usually go and park outside downtown office yeah. buildings, they're now gone. So what exactly are you doing to make sure that, you know, that social distancing is practiced? Because that's very top of mind for a lot of people right now. Absolutely. So what's fortunate about it, what this space is, it's enormous. Yeah. We have a huge space. We've capped the amount of food trucks so we can safely spread them all apart. And then we put blue painters tape so the guests can have a spot of where they wait in line. And some of the food trucks actually bring their own orange cones to help space it out. Uh, we've got masks and gloves that we're giving out to anyone that wants them. Uh, we, we do ask all the, the vendors to wear a mask when serving food and we have any extras if they need. We are wiping down any seating we have throughout the day and any, um, in between any usage as well. Let's talk about the sense of community that is just so important that a lot of people were missing. You know, like you were saying, downtown, going to lunch at those food trucks was a huge social thing for people. So why was it so important to kind of give everyone that aspect back, especially in a time like this? Right now, people, they're tired of their own cooking or yeah. <laughs> they don't want to eat three meals a day in their kitchen and clean up dishes. So we want to give them something where they can come out and feel normal, but also be safe. Right, so what are the details? Where can someone um, find out where this is located? All that good stuff. Well, we've got a website, theculturalcorridor.com that has all the information. You can follow us on Facebook, The Cultural Corridor Atlantic Beach, and on Instagram at The Cultural Corridor. Um, it is every Saturday at 1800 Mayport Road, right at the site of that gorgeous new mural, uh, every Saturday from 11 to 3 p.m. Make sure you head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to catch this segment again.